Calling all climate buffs! Let's take a look at the U.S. and global climate reports for the 2018 Northern Hemisphere Summer from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Seasonal surface temperatures over land and sea for June through August were the fifth warmest globally since records began in 1880. In fact, the last five years, 2014 through 2018, comprise the five warmest on record. 2016 was the warmest summer so far, boosted by a strong El Nino. If we only look at temperatures observed on land, 2018 was the fifth highest June through August on record. Looking at temperatures observed on the ocean's surface, this summer was also the fifth warmest summer on record. Weird, it's almost like there's a pattern happening here. This animation shows ocean temperature anomalies for summer 2018. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal water, while red indicates warmer than normal water. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, chances for another El Nino this winter tick up to around 60 to 70 percent over the next few months. Forecasting El Nino events focuses on changes in the ocean surface temperatures between 5 degrees north and south latitude in the western tropical Pacific Ocean. Here in the United States, the average temperature for the lower 48 was about 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 2 degrees above average, tying it with 1934 as the fourth warmest summer on record. The summer precipitation total for the contiguous United States was nearly 9 inches, over half of an inch above average, ranking summer 2018 as the 25th wettest summer on record. The nationally averaged overnight low temperatures were record warm this summer, 2.5 degrees above average, beating out 2016 for the warmest summer nights on record. In general, the U.S. summer overnight low temperatures are warming at a rate nearly twice as fast as afternoon high temperatures. The 10 warmest summer minimum temperatures have all occurred since 2002. And remember folks, this is physically expected from an intensified heat-trapping gas effect brought on by human activities. Hot and dry weather in the southwest contributed to another devastating wildfire season this past summer, especially in California. The Mendocino Complex Fire north of San Francisco became the largest on record at 422,000 acres, or around 660 square miles. That's roughly half the size of the state of Rhode Island. For those keeping score at home, five of the seven largest fires on record in California have occurred since 2012. But California wasn't the only state battling wildfires this summer. Several neighboring states and Canada also experienced large and prolonged wildfires. You may have noticed a trend of increasing wildfire activity over the past few summers. This is in part because of a warmer, drier climate making vegetation turn to tinder easier, providing more fuel for fires. To make matters worse, wildfire smoke worsens air quality thousands of miles downwind, impacting human health far away from those fires. Like all extremes, wildfire safety starts with at-home preparedness. Sit down with your family or your close friends and make a plan before an emergency happens. And that, my wonderful climate buffs, is your summer 2018 climate digest. We hope you have a great fall, y'all! For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.